help me know you my name help me know you my name Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Dear me, Father. Thank you once again for bringing all the brothers and sisters here, Father, so we can uh, listen to you, uh, your words to Pastor John, Father. Just, uh, just be with us during this time, Father, as we uh, uh, concentrate and focus on, um, on your words, Father. Just help us to um, just throughout the week always seek your word in, uh, in whatever decisions that we make and always um, seek your wisdom in everything that we do and say, Father. Thank you, Father, for this, uh, this day, and uh, thank Jesus. First, today's Bible scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9 through 23. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9 through 23. We are both God's workers, and you are God's field. You are God's building. Because of God's grace to me, I have laid a foundation like an expert builder. Now others are building on it, but whoever is building on this foundation must be very careful, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one we already have, Jesus Christ. Anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials, gold, silver, jewels, wood, hay, or straw. But on the judgment day, fire will be will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. If the work survives, that builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer a great loss. The builder will be saved, but like someone barely escaping through a wall of flame. Did you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you? God will destroy anyone who destroys this temple. For God's temple is holy, and you are in that temple. Stop de deceiving yourselves. If you think you are wise by the world's standards, you need to become a fool to be truly wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. As the scriptures say, He traps the wise in the snare of their own cleverness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise. He knows they are worthless. So don't blow... So don't boast about following a particular human leader, for everything belongs to you. Whether Paul or Apollos or Peter for the world, for life and death, for the present and the future, everything belongs to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why don't we greet each other? God bless you. God bless you. We just thank you that you were so totally by God's grace. Can you sound like a mic? Can I have some Can I have some mic? I love you, John. Wake up. Hey, I love you. Yeah, it was uh, totally by God's grace that. Brian finished all this. <laughs> Ooh. So it is uh, totally Thanksgiving. <laughs> Another thing is uh, Brother Mong and Sister Zhang. God allowed them to have a baby. Yeah. So six weeks according to their test this morning. So came out positive. So hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so pray, pray for them, okay? So every day, you know, God is doing new things to our lives. That's what He promised 
through the Bible. We are in chapter 3 now. Paul is just continuing to talking about the people of God. In chapter 3, he's talking about some points how we build our church, our life, even ourselves. That's why verse 9 of chapter 3, he says, We are both God's workers, and you are God's field, you are God's building. So what does that mean, you, are, you and I are God's workers? We just work for God? No, you and I need to work together. Right? To plant a seed in His field. That's why He says, you are God's field. God wants to plant a seed on your life. How? Well, there are so many ways he talked about in the Bible. And you are God's building. So when God came and he planted a seed in our lives, we are the ones who have to make it grow. So in that way, you know, the chapter 12 is talking about the human body. All parts of our bodies are connected each other to build a healthy body. So he gives us that illustration to reflect what he's talking about to the church. So there are three essences here we can find out. Verse 10, I have laid the foundation like an expert builder. So he's giving us a picture of Building a house. So can you picture that? When house builders, what do they do at first? Foundation. foundation. How do they make a foundation? What materials they're using? Strong. Strong? <laughs> Cement, concrete, mixed with stones, gravels, whatever. Diamond, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> so it is so solid. <laughs> so he's talking about the foundation, but what is his foundation he's talking about here? To the church and to human life. What has to become first? God, right? But specifically, Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus in our lives, there's no way we can come to His Father. Means that there's no salvation, no eternal life, no heaven at all. So, even in Matthew 6.33, what does it say? Seek His kingdom and righteousness. Then, everything will be added unto you. What is everything to you? To drink, to eat, to wear. Those are who? Gentiles are looking for. So he referred Gentiles in the Bible is non-believers. So when we seek his kingdom and his righteousness, what to drink, what to eat, what to wear, God is the one who's going to provide us. <laughs> 